Hello everyone, this is George from Excel Unusual and welcome to our new uh, preview of an old project. Uh, it, this is a demo, a compressor, this is an air compressor and an electric motor and it will show you how uh, you can use this uh, Excel essentially to gain much more insight than uh, sometimes using professional programs. So let's start this. Essentially, one day a friend of mine came to me and said, you know, we are working on an um, alternative energy uh, project and we need to know how to couple this electric motor with certain parameters, how to select the motor and the coupling. So here I put, uh, you know, moment of inertia for both the compressor and motor. He gave me the resistive, tor resistive torque of the compressor and uh, I made this model where you can change a lot of things. Um, you can also you'll see, zoom out or zoom in on the waveforms, all waveforms. You can uh, change the time step, make the time step uh, much smaller. Now the simulation is slower, supposedly a little bit more precise, not much more precise. Or you can make it faster. Sometimes you want to run it slow and precise because when you have animation, you can see if there's some sort of a problem with, how do you say, um, common sense. You can check the common sense functionality. Say when the piston goes up, you're supposed to see a higher torque, resistive torque. If you don't see that, it means there's a problem. That's why I always like to, besides the curves, you know, that engineers want curves. They give you curves, they want back curves, they want numbers. But if you add this, um, how do you say, if you add animation, then you're gonna have a much better degree of sanity check in your, uh, in your model. Here is the curve he gave it to me. So, and I used uh, some sort of a linear, uh, not linear, polynomial, polynomial interpolation. Here are the displays, okay? And uh, that's it. Let's uh, change a little bit the, um, Transmission ratio now is three. Check out, you see this bracket. I'm gonna go to two. So lower this, you see the bracket grows. Reset, of course. And it's very, very, very hard because now the motor is not so. Uh, <coughs> the reduction <coughs> is not so high. So um, let's stop this and. Uh, I want to show you something very significant. This is uh, the same model done in a professional program that I made this in something called Simulink, which is part of a MATLAB professional engineering software. And uh, this is a schematic in Simulink. This is the model in uh, um, Excel. And let's go to the next page. You see the results. For certain parameters, you have in Simulink and Excel almost practically the same thing. We go next page, I change the parameters. You see the same thing. And uh, don't be fooled by uh, the fact that here it looks smaller. It's just a different zoom. If you look here, you have 3,500 and here you have about maybe 700, 800. The same here, 3,500, maybe <coughs> 800. And next page, same thing. So this is very significant because using Excel is like walking, okay? You need to go somewhere, you learn how to run, you build muscle. Whereas if you use professional software that now they use even in school, even from early age, they just use black boxes. Software that is, uh, does everything for you. You just plug in some numbers, some initial, how do you say, parameters, and say run it, run it for that long. So you learn nothing, you know, people say, oh, but you can run through so many things, you can see. No, you cannot. You see a lot, but you don't understand it because you didn't do it. You didn't make it. You didn't put any effort. You don't care. You're just a spectator. Uh, they call them uh, tool monkeys or tool jockeys. Okay? Don't use this uh, word in industry, but, but most of the people there, that's what they do. They don't understand. They don't understand physics. They never did, you know? And the older you get, the more you use those programs, the dumber you get. So that's why I'm saying 
use Excel, sometimes use a piece of paper and a pen, maybe pocket calculator. Try to figure out how to run a system like this and to simulate it using a piece of paper. Thank you for your attention.